Good day. A little while ago, I did a video on a few ways to go about getting a faster GPS satellite lock with your GPS module on your FPV drone or RC model aircraft in general. If you haven't watched that video, I encourage you to because I go over how and why the GPS satellite constellation works for us FPV pilots. One of the methods I mentioned in that video to get a fast GPS satellite fix with your GPS receiver module was to power it independently of all of your other FPV electronics using the balance lead of your LiPo battery and a micro Beck step-down voltage regulator such as these from Maytech. This method's worked great for me while using my go-to GPS receiver module, the Maytech SAM M8Q. Well, the company VFly, the same one that makes those great VFly finder buzzers, has taken this concept and actually gone a step or two further with it and produced this little VFly GPS mate. So today, we're going to have a little contest between my usual independent power method using the balance lead with voltage regulator and the little VFly GPS mate to see which method works best for a fast GPS module satellite fix. This could be fun! Before we get started, help support your TMEC FPV channel by hitting that thumbs up button below, sharing this video with others you know it might help out, and subscribing to your TMEC FPV channel, your home for your journey to better FPV fun, flights, and racing stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at this VFly GPS mate. Inside the package, it's wrapped well in bubble wrap. You get the actual device. You get two wiring harnesses. One for the GPS side that goes from the GPS mate to your GPS receiver module over here. And the other one gets attached to your flight controller over here. Both of these wiring harnesses only have connectors on one end. That's so that you can wire up or solder up your GPS mate to your flight controller with these ends. And the one that goes to your GPS module has these pre-crimped ends on them so that you can insert it into this plastic connector. And the reason it's not inserted to begin with is because not all GPS modules have the wires going to this connector in the same order. So depending upon your GPS module, you can insert these wires into this connector for your specific module. That was nice of them to think about that. You also get a nice little instruction pamphlet with both operational instructions and a good wiring diagram. An added bonus feature of this little GPS mate is it's got a VFly buzzer included in this little package that you can operate as a normal buzzer on your quad with a switch on your transmitter and it's also powered by the same onboard single cell battery as the power used for your GPS receiver module. That means it acts like a VFly finder buzzer so if you happen to lose power on your quad this little buzzer activates and beeps a couple times every 10 seconds until you find the quad or up to four hours. This is a nice bonus feature of the GPS mate because if you're going to get a buzzer for your quad anyway, why not go ahead and get the built-in power supply for your GPS receiver module too? Let's see how much this little guy weighs. 3.57 grams. That's less than a lot of buzzers out there without a GPS power supply. For the first part of our contest, we're going to start off with the independent power method I've been using with the balance lead and the micro Beck step-down voltage regulator. And we'll follow that up with the VFly GPS mate method. To make this a fair fight, I'm going to use two brand new Matek SAM M8Q GPS modules. So both of our methods will have the same amount of stored satellite positional data to start off with. I've got the setup on my triple stack Nexus frame build with the Matek SAM M8Q GPS module in the optional 3D printed mount. I've encased it with conductive copper foil tape and have a ground wire running from it to the ground pad of my ESC. I've done this because I'm using the CADX Tarzir as one of my two cameras on this build. And in this configuration, it's obviously my forward-looking FPV and HD camera. The Tarzir is known to interfere with the GPS module's reception of satellite signals, so I'm doing everything I possibly can to mitigate that interference. More on that in a bit. I've got my micro Beck step-down voltage regulator attached to my GPS module and the balance lead connector running from the voltage regulator connected up to the balance connector of my LiPo battery. The GPS signal wires are running straight 
to the flight controller inside over here, RX and TX pads. That's the setup for this method without the VFly GPS mate. So let's go outside and see how well this works. All right, we're going to go through the process for both methods and we'll time each one of them with a stopwatch to see how fast they get their final GPS fixes. I'm going to speed up the video for each of the methods because I value your time. First, I'm going to power up the GPS module independently from the rest of the quad's electronics with a balance lead and voltage regulator. Then I'm going to wait for the blue light on the GPS module to start blinking, indicating the satellites have been acquired. Then I'm going to wait another two minutes once the satellites are acquired before I power on the rest of the quad. Then I'm going to power on the rest of the quad. And if I wasn't using a Tarsier camera, that would be it. However, since I am, I need to turn the Tarsier off and wait for the module to reacquire the satellites if it lost them when the Tarsier automatically powered on with a quad, because normally it does. So this is the practice that I always use. Once it does reacquire the satellites, I wait another minute or so before I turn the Tarsier back on to start flying. Once again, that part of the process isn't necessary unless you're using an HD camera that usually interferes with your GPS module's signal reception. And I've found this process with those types of HD cameras to be reliable. So let's power on the GPS module independently using the balance lead and voltage regulator. And we'll start the stopwatch. Watch for the blue light. That was rather immediate. It took about four seconds. So we'll wait two minutes and then we'll power on the quad. All right, two minutes is up. So I'm gonna power on the rest of the quad and turn the TARS ear off and wait one more minute. All right, the TARS ear is now off and we're at 220, so I'm going to wait till about 320, 330. And you just heard the audible alarm from my transmitter that I've set up stating that I've got at least five satellites. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but right here it says I've currently got 13, 12. When I power up the TARS ear, this number usually drops. But if I wait a minute, it'll still have a sufficient number of satellites. So we're going to wait till about 3.20, 3.30, and then I'm going to power up the Tarsier, and we're good to go. All right, we're at 3.30. I'm powering up the Tarsier. It's powered on. So we're good to fly, and we've currently got 11, 11 to 12 satellites. That process took less than four minutes, about three minutes and 50 seconds. Since the VFLY GPS Mate also has a self-powered buzzer, I'm going to replace both the balance lead with the voltage regulator and the buzzer on my Nexus build with this one VFLY GPS mate. I'll connect it to Nexus by just following the provided wiring diagram. The only difference is instead of using the provided wiring harness for the GPS module with the crimped ends, I've decided to use the one that came with the GPS module and solder the GPS module's wires to these pads underneath the shrink wrap, which I'll remove. VFly even gave us a nice piece of shrink wrap to replace it with just for that purpose. Seems like they thought of just about everything. To save time, I'm not going to show on this video me soldering up the connections. If you want a demonstration of how I solder, I've got a short soldering demo video clip on my site at the link shown on the screen and also available in the video description below. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, here's the completed installation of our VFLY GPS mate. I've just got a zip tied to the back arm here of our Nexus build with the power button, which is also the on off button for the buzzer facing out towards this motor. So I've got easy access to it. I think it turned out pretty good. If this works at least as good as our previous method, I'm happy because the isolated power supply and the buzzer that I took off of our Nexus build weighs over six grams, which means I just saved at least three grams in weight by using the VFLY GPS mate. Nice. Let's go test this out. All right, first of all, it just got done raining, so everything is completely wet, but we're gonna go ahead and do this anyway. We're gonna go through the same process that we did with our previous method, except this time we'll be using our VFLY GPS mate instead of connecting our balance lead connector to power up the GPS module. All we need to do is press the power button on our VFLY GPS mate for 
just over one second. We'll start the timer. We've already got a blinking light. That was about five seconds, I guess. And we'll wait about two minutes, just as we did with our previous method. And then we'll power on the quad and turn off the Tarzir camera. At which point we'll wait about another minute, minute and a half, and then we'll turn on our Tarzir camera and see if we've still got GPS satellite lock. All right, we're coming up on two minutes. So we're gonna power on the quad and turn the Tarzir off. All right, the Tarzir is now off. Looks like we've got about 11 satellites right now. And we'll wait till about 3.45, four minutes, just as we did with our previous method. And then we'll power up the Tarzir and see if we maintain satellite lock and are ready to fly. Everything's looking good so far with our VFly GPS mate. All right, we're gonna power up the Tarzir. Power's on. Still Mark, satellite lock achieved. Number of satellites acquired is at least five. Got 10 satellites. Looks like our little GPS mate is working good. I know for me, I'll be getting more of these. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you next video. Launch mode activated. Ready to launch? It's fly time. Clear skies, friends.